So I shared a video recently talking about the entrepreneurial opportunity that's there right now and there for the taking. And I suggested that now is the time when startups start and millionaires are made. Um, but how do you start your business? Um, if you have an idea, how do you realize it when banks don't want to lend money? And to be fair, anybody around you that you might possibly be able to borrow a bit of money from is pretty tight um, because the circumstances are really challenging. And so I wanted to share a video essentially helping people or guiding people or giving a few kind of tips for anybody that has an idea um, and, and wants to realize it and wants to get it going. Um, and so the, the first thing that I say is that oftentimes when people get ideas, um, they're from looking at other businesses, other established businesses, and, and they kind of discredit where that business started from. In actual fact, they look at the business 10 years in or five years in and say, oh, I want to start that business. Um, and, and, and their starting point for their idea is almost like an idea that's five years evolved. And so the really kind of the key message, I think, for anybody when they have a business idea is what is the simplest, easiest, uh, most financially lean uh, way of getting that business going? Um, I gave an example in one of my previous YouTube videos about a cafe. Somebody wanted to start a cafe. And I said, well, what's going to be great about your cafe? And, and they, uh, they said, oh, our cookies. I'm taking my granny's recipe and our cookies are going to be our unique selling point. And I said, great. Well, look, to, to rent the cafe, you're going to have to have a lot of experience in that space, but also a good bit of money um, in that space. How about you just focus in on those cookies and you sell them at local markets? Or hell, indeed, you might even sell them door to door. Um, and what that is, is that's a clear example of the quickest easiest, leanest, simplest way of starting that business, which as demand will grow for those cookies, you'll start producing more and more and more. And then that might evolve into your own unit in time once you've built up the experience and your own capital behind you. Um, now, the, the person that I was talking to in this case, in the example I gave, I remember them turning around to me and actually saying, are you joking? I don't want to be selling cookies door to door. I want to have my own unit. I want to have my own shop. I want to be on Grafton Street. And the fact of the matter is, is you have to you have to in business go from stage A to B to C to D because every one of those stages has their learnings and their lessons that all stand to you and ultimately speaking help you capitalize on the various stages. Um, so what I mean by that is that if if you get a big loan and you skip all the stages and you set up straight on Grafton Street one day, you don't have the wealth of knowledge that you need. Uh, to capitalize on that space. Um, so you actually have to start off small. Uh, unfortunately, people don't appreciate that in business. Everybody wants to be big and show off. And so in this example, the person turned to me and said, are you joking? I don't want to go door to door. I want to have that Grafton Street unit. Um, uh, but one of the kind of the second key tips that I'm going to share. So the first was obviously start small. The second is there's no place for ego and success. Um, if you talk to all the big entrepreneurs, they all start small and the circumstances in which they kind of persevere through were really challenging and really hard. But all those challenges help ultimately speaking complement their entrepreneurial spirit, their know-how and give them a wealth of experience that helps them thrive and grow. Um, and so what I'd say is take your ego out of the equation and start small and find an opportunity. It might not necessarily be what you want to do and what you aspire to do, but it's the starting point that leads you on your way to where you want to be and what you want to aspire to. Um, so step one, start small. Step two, put your ego out of the way. Uh, and step three, realize that you are your business. Um, people work with people and people are attracted to people. Um, and, but oftentimes when people have an idea, uh, they, they put the idea first and they start working crazy hours. They forget to look after themselves. And unfortunately that becomes really detractive. When somebody's nervous, when somebody's stressed, when somebody's all over the place, as I said, that's really distractive. So third key thing is look after yourself. And what that means is actually eating properly, sleeping properly, and all those other wellness routines because they complement you, not just in terms of energy, but in terms of decision making. And then in terms of charisma, when you're looking after yourself, people are attracted to you. People want to work with you. And that is so unbelievably key. And then the fourth little gem that I want to share with you that I have found really, really fruitful to anybody I've, anything I've done and anybody I've worked with is do your research, 
plan, really write things out, map things out. Um, oftentimes when people think of business, they think of doing, uh, and business is doing last. Uh, business is first, as I said, the research, it's the planning, it's the brainstorming. And as you do that, as you get your plan really built out, it essentially builds a to-do list for you. It helps you really, really focus. Um, so that actually at the very, very end, once you've done all your market research, once you've done all your brainstorming, once you've done all your planning and you've refined it, you have a very nice, easy to follow guide to realize your business success. Um, unfortunately, the opposite often happens where people have an idea and they start jumping into things in real time. They make a lot of mistakes, they waste a lot of money and they end up going around in circles over and over again. So I really, really hope there's value in that. As I said, this is the kind of thing that you could Google and just find an, an unlimited level of resources on. But those are the four kind of key tips that have really brought me value and certainly brought value to anybody I've worked on. And so I hope they bring you value too.